Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I want to cover a topic that I've been asked about quite a bit since Logic 10.7 came out, and I've seen this posted on numerous different forums, I've gotten multiple emails and comments about this, so I figured I would address this in a video since I don't think anyone else has covered this specific topic in version 10.7. So the question has to do with organizing your plugins in your own custom folders in Logic 10.7, and that Apple has removed this functionality in Logic 10.7. Well, this is actually not true. The functionality is still there, it's just hidden, and I'm gonna show you in this video how you can organize your plugins in folders using Logic 10.7. So for example, all of your stock Logic Audio effects all are organized by folders, and all of your third-party plugins will be organized by manufacturer under the audio units folder here. But let's say you wanted to create your own special folder, like a favorites folder, and just put your favorite third-party plugins in there. Well, you can still do this in Logic 10.7. To do this, just go up to Logic Pro, Preferences, then go down to Plugin Manager. Now, the question that I've been seeing a lot about this functionality being removed in Logic 10.7 has to do with the fact that this little sidebar over here on the left no longer shows the stock logic categories. And there used to be a little plus button here where you could click and you could create a new folder. Well, I'm gonna show you real quick here that this is totally possible in Logic 10.7. You just move your mouse over this little dividing line and then just click down or click and drag down and you'll see all of your plugin categories show up again and there's even the plus button there. So again, this function has not been removed in 10.7, it's just hidden. And once you show this little category dialog, it'll stay there. You can just go back up to Logic Pro Preferences, Plugin Manager, and bam, it's still there. The only way it'll go back to not showing the categories again is if you trash your Logic Prefs. So let's say I wanna create a folder here for my favorite plugins. So I'll click the plus button and I'll just call this Favorites. In fact, I'm even going to rename this underscore favorites so that it appears at the top so I can very quickly access this folder. Then I can just go through my various third-party plugins that I use and I can pull my favorite plugins over into this folder. So I use Autotune Pro a lot, I'll pull that in there. I use Avox Choir a lot on vocals as well as Avox Warm. Under Celimony, I use Melodyne all the time, but I almost never use the Aura version, so I'm just gonna leave that out. I use the Iosis uh, de -er all the time. It's my favorite de -er. Let's go down to Eventide. Love the Black Hole Reverb, use it all the time. So let's pull that in there. I also use the H910 and 949 all the time. I do use Ozone quite a bit, so let's pull that over into the Favorites folder. So I'm not gonna go through all of my favorites just for example, but if you wanted, you could drag every single favorite plugin that you use most often into this favorites folder. And you can even create your own custom categories here. You could separate your favorite third-party plugins into their own individual categories. Or if you just want to use the existing categories that are here, you could even drag third-party plugins into these stock categories. For example, if I wanna add a third-party reverb to the reverb folder, it's as simple as going down to the folder where my third-party plugin is. I use Valhalla Shimmer and Vintage Verb all the time. So I'll just pull Shimmer into the Reverb folder and Vintage Verb into the Reverb folder. And now you'll see they appear here along with Logic's stock reverbs. So there's a lot of customizing you can do here to organize your plugins any way you like. So now when I'm done, I'll just click Done. And when I go to load a new plugin, you'll see my favorites folder shows up there with all of my favorites that I dragged in. And if I go down to Reverb, you can see that Shimmer and uh, Vintage Verb are both here in that folder, and I can more quickly load these up instead of having to go all the way down to the Audio Units folder. And you can still access these third-party plugins from the Audio Units folder. For example, Shimmer and Vintage Verb were from Valhalla, and you can see that these are still here in the Valhalla Manufacturers folder and Autotune Pro is still here under the Antares folder. So it doesn't permanently move the location of the plugin, it just organizes the plugins for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.